Welcome to another tech video. Uh, in this one, we're having a, another traumatic experience. This is uh, an HP X360, it's a Core i5 machine, and it's got a failed CPU fan. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to flip the device over and you'll notice that uh, there are no exposed screws at the moment. So the screws are under this back rubber foot, under these front rubber blocks and then one in the centre. So the first thing that we're going to do is we need to remove those and we want to get under one of the corners on the rubber foot at the back. can be quite tricky to get into depending on how old or how long it's been stuck down but that's where we want to get under okay so we're actually going to use a little a little knife to prise it up there we go You want to be careful that you don't break this because we need to put it back. Okay, that screw's come out all the way out without even undoing it. Okay, so we're going to need some 3M adhesive to stick that back down, which we've got. And then the next thing is we want to get under this corner. Probably I'm going to use the knife again just to prise up this little block. There we go. Put those in there to keep them safe. And they're slightly chamfered, so you want to make sure that when you put them back, they go back in the same way so they're not sticking up. There we go. That's those four out. And then we've got one little piece to remove under here. If we can get in there, there we go, and that comes out as well. So once you've got those removed, then the next thing to do is just to remove the screws, and we need a Phillips screwdriver for that. All these screws seem very loose, so I wonder if the back's been off before. And then we've got one in the centre. It looks a little bit stripped. So. Okay, so that is a different type of screw. So that's a silver one. So that's with a small head. And it looks like these front ones are the same as well. So we've got two different types. So we've got the black screws that go along the back and then the silver screws go everywhere else. And looking at the condition of these screws, I would say they've definitely been out before. So I'm not sure what delights are gonna wait us once we get into this unit. Okay, so once you've got all the screws removed, just double check that you have got them all removed, which we have. We can go ahead and turn the case over, open the screen. And we now want to remove this black top assembly. So what we're looking for is a potential area where we can get between the case And the top bit, which looks like it's in the top corner, seems to be the easiest bit. And once you're in there, you can then take a little prizer tool and carefully run that all the way around the laptop. I'm surprised how easy this is coming away. And again, round the back here to remove that. Pop that up, there we go. Right, so once that's done, there's then two cables that you need to remove. One connecting the keyboard and the other connecting the trackpad. So we're gonna lift that away and then you can see under, underneath here the two cables. 
Okay, we want to be careful how we do this. But we're going to lift up one release, remove it, and then actually there's three cables on this one, so this must have a this must have be a backlit keyboard. That's that second cable off, and then the third cable lift that up there, and then we can remove the top assembly. We can then check the condition of it. So we've got a little bit of fluff in the corner there, so we're going to get rid of that, put that to one side, and let's have a look. Right. Okay. So the problem is the fan, so we're going to be replacing the fan. Uh, we've got a load of dust along here, so what we're actually going to do, we're going to give this a clean out. I think I'm going to yeah, I am going to give this a good clean out, I think, before we continue. So we'll be back. I'm just going to blow all of this out with our air duster. So that's the device sort of all cleaned as much as it can be. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is before we start uh, disassembling, we're going to take out the battery. So there are five, six screws to remove. Okay, like that, and then the battery should just lift up and unplug from here. Now you want to support the back of the laptop to stop it falling over at this point because the weight of the screen is much greater than obviously the, uh, the laptop itself. Okay, now let's see how we go about getting the fan out. Okay, we might need to take the whole main board out for this. Let's have a look. Okay, yeah. Certainly tricky to do. So we'll need to now remove the tape that's connecting the fan to the heat sink block like that Let's see if we can get it out without having to remove the whole main board okay no right so we are going to have to remove the main board however we might be able to do this uh, a little bit differently just by lifting up the back Okay, now we've got to take the main board out because the looks like the power for the fan is on the underside. Right, so now to get the main board out, we're going to have to remove the M.2 drive. So we're going to pop that out there. And then we've got six. Okay. And the card. Okay, so... I'm hoping we're not going to be able to we're going to be able to get out without having to take the whole main board out so let's try getting rid of one here And one under here. So that is now the main board released. We can certainly turn it over. So let's remove that battery and that Wi-Fi card because this fan actually is just a disassembly of the fan. 
which it is. So, this type of fan is a bit annoying because actually the whole assembly stays in place and you have to remove these three screws. So now this should theory lift up there we go we can now remove the fan from the unit oh, that's a fiddly bugger. like that so we have to keep the uh, the copper heat sink this is all part of the unit and then we'll be reattaching all of this so i've ordered a replacement one of these Right, so the next thing we're going to do is while we've got all of this disassembled, um, we're actually going to replace the thermal paste. Um, so you don't need to necessarily remove this cover, but underneath the cover is the RAM modules. So I'm just going to raise this up and get this out of the way. Um, so we can see here we've got our one 8 gig stick in there. Now to remove this, just undo the four screws. And I do them opposite ends so I'm just slacking them all off first of all and then this whole assembly should just lift off okay there we go so as you can see we've got our CPU and GPU under there and we're gonna get some kitchen towel and then we're going to take some isobrupyl alcohol and that will clean it up nicely and then we're going to take our thermal paste. So I'm using Ice Mountain, uh, which is Arctic MX2 paste. Just want to put a tiny blob. CPU. Tiny blob on the GPU. Probably a little bit too much, but it uh, should be fine. And then we're going to position our block over the top. Just let it rest there. And then Take each of the corners down in turn and then go where I go opposites. Okay, you just do it finger tight. Doesn't need to be down there really tight, just as long as you screw it all the way down. Okay, and then we're going to take our lid for the ram and we're going to get that back into position. And then now the new fans turned up, we can go ahead and reassemble everything, get everything back into place. The first thing we're going to do.
Right, now we need to get our surface back on, so our keyboard surface. We've got our three cables to connect. So we've got our uh, touchpad cable, we've got our keyboard cable, and then our, looks like our backlight cable. Our cable, so let's see if we can get this connected. So the first one we're going to do is we'll do our backlit cable. Okay, there we go. So that's that cable connected. Now we're going to take our trackpad cable like that. And then we're going to take our keyboard cable. Which is probably the trickiest one. There we go. Okay. So now we've got pretty much everything back together apart from the base bits and pieces. So the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure that actually things are working. And we've got power going in. CMOS reset, so we've got a we've got a boot screen. So I am happy with that. So I'm going to remove the power. And now we seem to be booting, which is good. And there we have it. So we are all good to go. That's all working. Um, let's see if I can hear the fan. Yep, fan spinning away. So that's good news. All right, so let's get this closed down and get this finished off. So now we can flip the unit over. We can get our screws back in and finish this off. And finally, we're going to give this a good, really good clean. We'll clean up the inside, give the screen a nice clean, and then get this back. So, if you found that video useful, and you learned how to change this horrible little fan, um, such a huge amount of work just to uh, change a CPU fan, then give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Just want to say thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.